everyone. Let me know if you can hear me. Let me know if you can see the slide. Hope everyone is on Monday afternoon. <coughs> it's fall here in New York. Okay, great. As we're going along here today, if you have any questions, you can feel free to email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. Um, or, if, or if you have any questions afterwards, I should say. If you have any questions live here, you can just plop it in the room, okay? So today we're gonna to talk about how you can earn $20,000 a month working from home trading. So day trading, which is what I do, you just need a computer, <coughs> excuse me, a live internet connection, obviously, a brokerage account to get the, to get the charts, to take the trades, and you can trade. And you can do it from home or from an office. But a lot of people right now this year are actually working from home for their regular jobs. So it's a good year to kind of transition if you want to actually trade as your full-time job. This is me. I've been trading since 2008. God, it's almost 2021. Wow, the number kind of has a good, it's a, that's a good number, isn't it? 2021 is going to be a better year than 2020, I have a feeling. <laughs> Anyways, if you have any questions, you can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com or you can call me at 929-3200-GAP. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. I think YouTube is the best place to follow me because I post a lot of uh, trade reviews. When I'm on television, the clips are on there. <coughs> Excuse me, and even a webinar replays. Kathy just typed in the room if anyone has any questions. That's how you do it. Thank you, Kathy. So anyways, right now, we're getting into this period here, change of seasons, we're getting into fall, it's starting to get dark a lot earlier here in New York, so we're going to be changing the clocks. It's always a good time, change of seasons, to evaluate what's going on with your life, what is going on with your financial goals, and also your career. Also, at the end of the year, it's a good time to do that. And we only have three more months left in the year, if you can believe it. Uh, TV, yes. Television, cable, yes, I'm on TV. And sometimes I'm on Ameritrade Network, which is not TV, but it's online. And uh, Cheddar, Cheddar's the next one I'm on Wednesday at four o'clock. You can watch me on Cheddar. Cheddar's on television. Um, you can tune in, see your local channel. That's cable. I'll be talking about uh, the markets on Cheddar at four o'clock Wednesday, for those of you that are interested. Anyways, it's a good time to think about what's going on with your financial goals in your career. Are you happy in your current career? You know, when I got into trading, one of the reasons that I got into it was I was unhappy in my current career. I was doing mortgages. Oh gosh, I did mortgages for so long and it's even worse now probably, I bet. Harder to get a loan done. It was 2007, 2008, things started collapsing. I said, I gotta find a new job. I have to find a new career. But I was making a lot of money doing mortgages. So I wanted to not just switch jobs and careers for the sake of doing so. I wanted to find something that I could make as much money as I was making or more. Okay, preferably more. So, I, you know, these are questions only you can answer. But for me, that's where I was at with it. And, you know, for this year, some people are not making as much money as they'd like to because of what's happened with COVID. Some people are on less hours. And the one thing about trading is you can make more money if you take larger risk and as you get better at it. So that is your advancement. The advancement is yourself. Again, this is very entrepreneurial when you trade as an active trader because you're doing it yourself and you have to learn what to do. And that's why people come to me. So think about this. Will you make more money next year in your job than you did this year or less? Do you find yourself exhausted at the end of each week because you work too many hours? The nice thing about trading too is the market closes at four o'clock. That's it. Five days a week, no weekends, weekends off. Okay. And it also is important to enjoy what you do every day. And you know, I was, I, I didn't enjoy mortgages by the end of it because it was so stressful trying to get loans done. And one thing about trading is I do like it. I do enjoy it. It is fun. While there are some days that are challenging, for the most part of the 200 plus trading days in a year, I enjoy what I do. And I think that plays a big factor in people's life as far as their happiness, not just the money, but also enjoying what they do and then having the freedom as well. 
you know, <laughs> when you work from home and you work for yourself and you don't have a boss to report to, you decide what you want to do. You decide the days of the week you're working. You decide when you want to go on a vacation. You decide when you have off. And really, 2020 has been a good year to trade the stock market. Of all the things that people are doing this year, if you make a list of the careers that people did well this year, or things that people did not, uh, obviously, like if you were in travel, hospitality, entertainment, restaurant business, those were industries that suffered a lot this year in 2020 and are still suffering. But traders, if, if you know what to do, are having a very good year. This is a chart here, a daily chart of the QQQs. And I'm just clipping back here two, two and a half months. Market rallied up in Ju July, made new highs at the beginning of August, dropped, ran up, made new highs. Pretty much August was an extremely bullish month for the overall market, okay? We made new highs up here. And then we dropped and we dropped and fell and we've kind of been pittering off ever since then really one of the trades we did this was a day trade just to give you an example here of how much money you could make on one day on one trade was a trade we did on september 21st so this is a daily chart so this is the day that we did it we entered it short 325.85 stop was 327.30 30. i call the live trades in the live room so i would say the number and the stop you decide your risk. If you risk 2,500 shares, which is an advanced risk, the risk was 36.25. If you wanted to risk less, you could do that too. You could have risked 500 shares. You could have risked half of this amount, around 1,200 shares or whatever. Anyways, it was a really nice trade. Dropped all the way down. Exit was 322.10. How do you make money in the market? This was a short, so we shorted it. And this tail here in this candlestick is the drop where we got the short, okay? Profit in this was 9,375. Now, just to review what I do specifically is I focus on gaps, okay? I named my system the Golden Gap, which is why I was on this day, the 21st. A gap is the difference between the close and the open. So the close of the previous day was here, boom, open in the morning, down. So the market, which was the SPY, gap down on this day. From this day here to this day here, it gapped down. This was the 18th to the 21st, Friday to the Monday. Okay. So that was a really nice move. So again, this dropped, sold off. When you're shorting, how do you make money shorting? You make money when a stock, or the market in this case, is by as an ETF for the S&P, drops in price down. It's like you're betting that it's lower and you're shorting it. And again, you have to have an account to do this, but this is one example of one that we did. Actually, that was just a week ago. Yeah. One I do also is focus on quality. Quality, 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 not quantity. In fact, I was just talking about this in the day train, uh, the day trading room here this morning. Uh, you know, the best, biggest days that I've ever had in my life, it's funny. It's usually one ticker symbol, one trade, just like that spot like some of the best days I've ever had. It's really just one trade. And you get the momentum and you get the volume into it and it goes. So it's really about quality. So I'm honing in on the quality. That's what you'd come and learn from me. What are the quality trades to do today to do, Melissa? And in what direction? So that's what you'd learn from me through my system. This is another chart that people love. This is Google. Google had a beautiful rally up. This was, yeah, beginning of September. Then it fell here September 3rd. So just to review, what is a gap? When it closes at one price and opens at a different price, this was a gap up because the price of the next day opened higher. Then it rallied, then it gapped down the following day, closed at one price here, opened at a lower price here. So this gap down, sold off. So if you had gone long here, you would have made money. If you'd shorted here, you would have made money. Or you could have done puts because the stock is very expensive in this case here. So actually, we did a put. So this is a newsletter service that I have where I send the trades out to you in a newsletter. Okay. The cost of the Google 1500 puts, I call them on Thursday, September 10th, was $18 a contract. For those of you that don't know what an option is, you don't need margin to trade options like you do day trades. And it's a way to trade expensive stocks uh, much, much cheaper than it would be to do an equity trade like that SPY trade. And actually you could have done the SPY trade as a put too. 
four contracts, the risk would be 7,200, sold at 56. This is a nice profit, okay? It is a 211% return on investment, so 15,200 on a risk of 7,200. So say, for example, you only risked one. So you bought one contract of the Googles, and I'm gonna go back here to September 10th to show you. Here's September 10th. So I called the 1500s, what did it do? Dropped into the number, dropped. So this was called here on the Thursday, dropped into the following day on the 11th, which was Friday. So that was a nice move, boom. And again, to turn over your risk like that within 24 hours, over 200% is a really nice return on investment. So how am I figuring this out? How am I determining, again, that Google was a short here to call the put trade? It's again, I'm looking at the gap. And this was a late day, a late day trade here. So the email you would have gotten if you were in the newsletter, you would have gotten it around 3.20 in the afternoon. Now here was another one here. This was Tesla, again, a beautiful chart, <coughs> excuse me, that rallied up and had lots of gaps in it. Let's go over some of them. This closed here, this gapped up, rallied. So this was a bullish gap. You could have gone long here for profit. This closed here, this gapped up. Didn't do much on it, but it held the gap up. This closed here, gapped up again, fell a little bit, but still held. Closed here, gapped up, broke out. These numbers over here, though, don't show what the price used to be back here. This was mid-August. This is Tesla, the stock split, just so everybody knows. So this is what it would look like now if you pulled it up. Anyways, I called a lovely put in this on September 3rd, okay? The cost was $29 for one contract. Three contracts would have cost you $8,700, sold at $45. Profit was $4,800, return on investment 55%. That's a good trade, okay? So let's go look at September 3rd in the daily. Again, here is the drop. Closed here, gap down, fell. Closed here, gap down, fell. So again, when you're buying a put in an option, you're betting or predicting that the stock is lower. So how do I make all these trade calls? I look at the gap in the daily chart, and then I have a rating system that I go through. It's a process, okay, that I go through as a trader. It's a checklist. Like if you were a pilot, you would go through a checklist, A, B, C, D, F, G, before you would take off, okay? <clears throat> I go through a checklist, or if you were doing surgery on someone, I go through a checklist in the morning when I'm determining what stocks I want to trade and what direction I want to trade them. And that is how I'm making the calls, whether for the day trades or the options. Any questions here so far? Anybody familiar with gaps or brand new to gaps? Every single trade that I do is gap related, okay? And one of the things that I have found, and one of the reasons I gravitated towards gaps actually, is because they have such a high, high potential to make a lot of money. Why? Because they have big moves. So as one individual trader, that's how you can make a lot of money because you get a stock that moves a lot, that's how you can do it. Then you don't need to take thousands and thousands and thousands of shares or contracts because you're getting a big move. Even if you have 100 shares or 500 shares or 1,000 shares, which is actually a good position, if the stock moves two, three, four dollars or something like the SPY, you can make good money, okay? You don't have to risk a lot. Now, some of those options trades were higher. I call it an advanced risk. It depends what level you are on. But <clears throat> I think it's okay to risk more in the options in the overnights because you can't lose any more than the total position cost, okay? Well, many, Lucas has heard of it, but never done it. Well, many people trade gaps and they're really not very good at it. And what's out there in gaps really isn't even accurate or correct. And that's one of the reasons why even back in 2008, I created my own system. Even now today, again, in 2020, what's out there about gaps is not accurate and there's very little information out there about them. So I think people are scared of gaps, but there's nothing to be scared with if you know what to do, okay? And one of the reasons people are scared of them is they don't understand them and they do move big and fast. So it could be scary if you're in the wrong direction, but it's amazing and fast money and big money if you get it in the right direction, okay?
like pretty much anything else you would do in the market. So what is your dream career? One, something you can make a huge potential income and it can grow over time, something that allows you time for leisure. Like I said, you know, weekends off is terrific, especially since a lot of jobs you have to work weekends. Now, why trade gaps? Trading is a career that can offer you financial freedom, fulfillment, and happiness. You've got to learn how to do it. Just like anything else you do. You wouldn't go and you wouldn't like, how could you like represent someone as an attorney if you don't have a law license, which you're not gonna get unless you go to law school and you can pass to, to pass the test. So it's like anything else, becoming a CPA, okay? You have to get educated on what to do in order to do it well and succeed. I don't know why people find trading different than normal careers, it's really not. I think that that actually uh, lengthens the time that people from the time that they start trading, they begin this process until the time that they're successful, if they ever become successful. They don't take it seriously enough that it's something that they need to do to learn to do like any other career. Um, a teacher, I could go on and on and name a million careers, a dentist, a doctor, things that you have to learn the foundation of, learn the skill set, and get the right knowledge in order to make money. But you can have the life you want if you're willing to learn something new. And not only that, develop the skills to become successful in a new industry, okay? And that is what I'm here for. I teach people what to do in a class that I teach once a month. And then I have the live trading room. Now, for those of you that are here, you are eligible to come to the open house this week. <coughs> Kathy, you can put the link in the room um, and you can observe, you know, me calling the live trades this week in the room. Today, we did not do anything. There wasn't anything good to do, okay? There wasn't really any earnings out this morning that were interesting. And some days you will have that where you don't have any trades. I suspect we will have some good things though this week. Now, getting back to what I was saying about scary, why people find gaps scary is because they do move really quickly. For me, that's exciting. Making money quickly is exciting for me. It's not scary. But if you are in the wrong direction, you're going to lose. But if you're in the wrong direction in anything, you're going to lose. It doesn't matter if it moves slow or fast. Profits happen very quickly in gaps. Sometimes we take a trade and we're in and out of it in two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, ten. And then my day is done, you know, 10 a.m. Eastern time. So I don't necessarily hold something. Now that SPY trade I did hold a lot because I believed in it and I thought it was gonna continue and follow through, but some trades were done like in minutes, okay? Now this was another one here, Apple. So the entry in this one was 114.99, shares was 2200, risk was 26.62, exit was 113, profit was 4378. Again, this is a day trade. So this is what, a $2 move. Here's the chart of Apple. You can see the bullish gap ups when it was rising here. Here's the bearish gap downs when it was falling. And one of the things that's interesting, again, everything I do is on the daily chart. It's all about, like I said, the move. If you have a thousand shares and you short something and it drops $1, what do you up a thousand bucks? If you have 2000 shares and it drops a dollar, what do you up $2,000? If you have 2,000 shares and it drops $2, what do you up? $4,000. Just like this one here, this moved to two bucks. So I'm always trying to look for what I call a move. It's the money move. It's the move in stocks that's gonna get it, that's gonna drop into it, okay? Now here was another one here, this was CCL. Beautiful red bar, this was a short. Closed here, gap down. CCL is Carnival Cruise Lines. We've been shorting this a lot. It's been rolling over. We entered this at 1685, stop was 1715, shares was 8,000. That's a lot, but it was a really tight stop. Small, okay. Risk was 2400, exit at 1657, profit 2240. Now I wanna go over here to this bar to show you. We got it in early, right at the tippy tippy top. It kept going. So this went another 60 cents plus, like you could have made even more in this. I like to get out of the morning, we're up our goal. Usually my goal is one turnaround or close, okay, which this was. This here though, really was huge if you held it. Here was another example here with this continue. So again, that's up to you if you wanna hold it past the point, but this ended up being a really, really, really nice sell-off in the CCL. 
And again, it was a gap down. So we did a day trade, an equity trade. We shorted it as a gap down. Okay. And again, this is a daily chart. So again, gaps are a way that you can take advantage of the moves in the market. This is not long-term investing. It's trading. What is trading? It's you're going into the market. You're risking a certain amount of money, $500, $1,000, whatever you decide based on the size of your cash account at your broker. There are retail brokers. There are proprietary day trading brokers. You have to talk to the broker to find out how much you're able to get on margin. But you take the trade and you chunk it out and you build your account up. Just think about it. Even $500 a day is what? $2,500 a week. $1,000 a day is what? $5,000 a week. And that is, you know, just in day trades, not even talking about options trades. And some people in my trading room are doing both. They're doing both the options and the day trades. And another advantage is also you don't have to be in the United States living here in order to trade. So you can do this from anywhere in the world if you are um, in a foreign country, if you are not a U.S. citizen, you can still open up a brokerage account and you still can trade. You have to find a broker that will allow you to open up, get the required documents to them and do it. Now, this was Apple here again, just showing you all of the gaps that have been happening in this. Just so many. And you could really play every one that rates well. Here was this closed here, gap down, fell. That was the one day that we did it in there with the day trade. Then it closed here, gap down. Then it closed here, open neutral, fell. Then it closed here, gap down again, rallied. So here is a nice downward move that has been happening pretty much the whole month of September in Apple and everything else. So we did puts in this on the 10th of September. And you can see here, this was a good price. So we did the three, that we did the 115s that cost $3 for one contract of the Apple. Okay, 25 contracts, if you took them, risk was 7,500, sold at 640, profit 8,500. Again, return on investment, 113%. That's a good trade. So let's go look here at the 10th, the day I called it. Take it up. Oh, where is it here? Here's the day. Called it on here, open, dropped, fell, boom. So you see the sell off here. The red is depicting the selling in this apple. Okay, very nice move to the downside. And again, this is doing an options trade. Now, again, you can open up an options account at a broker with as little as $2,000. You have to assess your risk according to that, but you could have bought one contract for $300 with a $2,000 option account. And if you had, you could have made what? 340 bucks. That's a good trade. And that's also how you build up your account. Say you have a $2,000 account, you want to try to build it to five, take it to five, build it to 10, and so on and so forth, okay? Oh, here, I do have this example in here. Well, actually, if you took two contracts, this is a beginner trader risk, you could have made $680. It's a nice trade. This is with a risk of $600. Again, same trade, different risk. It depends on the size of your account. If your goal is to make $20,000 a month, again, that's approximately $1,000 a day. Now, if you don't have the cash to risk $1,000 in every trade to make $1,000, because again, we're trying to turn it over always one, then guess what? <coughs> build your account up that you can. Take a beginner risk till you build it up, that you can get to the point where you're risking 1,000 per trade, and that's how you're gonna get to that next point, okay? Here is the QQQs, beautiful chart here. Again, in August, made new highs. We talked about this earlier. Now it's been dropping again. We did the 277 puts in the QQQs on the 10th. So let's go look at the date. Here's the 10th. Fell, dropped. Okay, so I called, take it over. I called the 277 puts. That was the strike. You see it fell through it. Again, this newsletter comes to you emailed. It was 11.04 in the morning. You get it, boom. You put the trade on, you let the trade ride out. You can look at targets or you can money management by putting an order out to sell it once it gets at 100%. That's your goal. Advanced trader risk, 
$5.20 was one contract, 15 contracts, risk is 7,800. Sold at 11.25, profit 9,075. Return on investment was 116. So that's a really, really, really nice return on investment. And again, this is an option, okay? Same concept though, where I am looking at the chart and I'm looking at the gap. Say you had a small account. One contract cost $520 and you sold it at 11.25, profit is 605. Return on investment, 116%. So again, this is a good amount of money. Taking 500 some dollars and being able to profit and make 600 is a nice profit. And this was within, you know, 24 to 48 hours of the move. So again, chunking it out, chunking out, chunking it out. If you're going to do this as your career, you have to chunk it out because you can't buy and hold a stock for weeks or months. Even if you be up, if you don't get out of the position, how are you living off of that money even if you're up in the trade? So you have to pull money out of the market constantly and consistently if this is something that you want to do for your career. You have to be on top of it all the time. And also, I'm, I'm calling so many trades that you really wouldn't want to hold something for days and weeks and months because you want to be able to get all the trades, okay? Obviously, you can see all these ones here I called just even in the last two weeks. <coughs> Any questions here so far? By anyone? So this is the SPY, again, dropped off here this day where we shorted it as a day train. This was here on the 21st, already talked about that. Daily chart, ran up, made new highs, closed here, gap down, fell off a cliff. Okay, this was back beginning of September. And that same day that I called these other trades on the 10th, I called the SPY too. I called the 338 options in the SPY. Cost was $5, contracts was 15, okay? Risk was 7,500, sold in 975, profit was 7,125 with 7,500 risk. So this is a good, again, ROI, 95%. You're trying to get it as close to 100 as you can, okay? But again, this is not an exact science. So let's go back to September, 7, uh, September 10th here. Same day I called all these ones. Dropped, dropped, dropped. You can see where it dropped. And again, the strike was here at the 338. So it fell through the number. Again, we were discussing momentum. What is momentum? This big red bar shows the momentum. This big red bar here too shows the momentum, the size of the bar. The size of the bar here is up over 355. Low in here is what? $10 underneath it, more than 345. Okay, and those are the biggest bars in the last few months, quite frankly. You don't have any bars that even match that, even green bars, okay? Now, what if you took one contract with a small risk, $500? You could have made $475, a very, very nice trade, okay? So again, this is the options newsletter. If you know how to do options, uh, this is a good newsletter to get all of my trade calls and ideas, and then you can take the trade when you get it. But if you can learn how to trade the market, you can be your own boss and work from home. For me, it was a process. It took about three years to create my own system. It's a lot easier for you. If you come, you pay me for my time and my information, and you learn my system in one weekend. And then obviously you get the trades as I'm calling them in the room, or you get them emailed to you in the newsletter. You can set your own schedule, and you work just a short time of day for a comfortable income from home. Some people are happy with a couple hundred dollars a day. Some people are perfectly happy with that. And again, the idea of only working a short amount of hours is very uh, enticing for many people. Now for me, like I'm doing a webinar tonight, but you know, normally, like I said, we're done trading in the morning. I rarely trade till four o'clock, rarely. <laughs> Even though the market's open till four. Anyways, the strategy I do is gaps. They work fast. They have a good risk to reward, and that is important because you will have trades that lose. You will have trades that do not work. So of all my trades, you take all my trades, usually say of every 10 trades, I say eight are gonna turn out to be winners, two are gonna lose. So you have to make enough money on the winners to not only cover the losers, but also pay you. 
and pay you a lot, preferably, okay? Just like that one that was like 200% and that one spy short that really worked that fell off a cliff, okay? But if you wanna trade for a living, you need what? You need to have a strategy that has number one, predictable and reliable moves that you can calculate before you enter the trade, not grasping at straws or taking pot shots at trades. Some people go long and short the same stock the same day. That's crazy. I never do that. Also, you need setups that happen pretty much almost daily, okay? And also big moves, okay? So, and it's also important, and I'll say this, this is very basic, but you really need a strategy. So you need a strategy to trade in order to make money. If you don't have one, then where are you getting your ideas or why are you doing them? A lot of people bought that Tesla stock before the news of the battery thing, and then it fell. There was no strategy to that. A lot of people bought Tesla and Apple before the stock split. There was no strategy to that. And people lost. And they wonder why they lost. Those were dumb trades. There was no strategic reason for doing them. What I do is based on gaps, and it's based on technical analysis in the daily chart. Okay, it's what I keep looking at here. We keep showing you these charts. These are daily charts of these stocks. Now, this was one here. This was Facebook. This has had some nice, fat, beautiful green bars, actually. Stock broke out higher here, back at the beginning of August, rallied, broke out here in the late August period and rallied as well, okay? So some beautiful moves up in Facebook, made brand new all-time highs, ran over 300. I don't know when the earnings are in this stock, but I'm going to be definitely watching it. Earnings season starts in about three weeks. But we ended up shorting this. We shorted this September 14th. I called 265 puts in Facebook. So let's go look at this date here. September 14th, here you can see it, closed here, gap down. So I called the 265s, boom, fell, fell. Okay, there was the move. And again, I called this pretty late in the day. So advanced trader risk was what? 375, 20 contracts, 7,500 risk, sold at 1275, profit 18,000, return on investment 240%. Why did this move so big? Again, let's go back and look at the daily here. You can see what occurred, okay? The stock gap down, started to fall here in this first day, and then pow, had to fall to a continuation gap the second day down in here, where it really dropped, fell off a cliff. So that really helped this go and help this fall and be such a big, big mover, okay? So that was nice in there. That was couple of weeks ago now. Beginner trader, again, if you took one contract or two, two contracts, $750 risk, sold at $1,275, you could have made $1,800. So again, you can see how you can take a $2,000 account, risk $750, and almost double your account in one trade because you would have made $1,800. So again, it's, it's about momentum. That's how you can get return on investments this big. And really, to be honest with you, it's about the picks. It's about the picks. I'm getting the picks right. I'm getting the timing right in the equity trades. I'm getting the timing right in the options trades. A lot of times with, with trading as well, it is about timing. And a lot of times with options, it really is about timing because options have a set time frame where the trade is going to expire by. So it has to move in your favor pretty quickly if it's gonna work and go. Any questions here so far? That's okay, Kathy. I didn't even hear you talking if you were talking. Just saw your post. Anyways, this is one of these interesting years, again, where I think people, a lot of people are reevaluating what they're doing for a living and whether or not they enjoy it, whether or not they're making enough money, whether or not they're even happy at all. People are also evaluating where they live. I've, I've found myself evaluating where I live here in New York City because the city has changed um, the entire uh, entire compass of the city has changed uh, and, and pretty quickly, almost out overnight. So people are thinking about their careers. They're thinking about uh, their finances. They're thinking about where they live. Today's world is not the same as 25 years ago or 10 years ago or even, even before the bank bailout. In fact, we were talking about this earlier in the room today as well because they extended the uh, eviction moratoriums until the end of January. Uh, Governor Cuomo announced that today. That is a disaster for landlords in this city. And it's very interesting because you have thousands and thousands and thousands of people in New York that are squatting, squatting in apartments, 
not paying their rent and, and the landlords can't collect it. And that's bad for the landlords and it's bad for the banks. And, and, and overall, all of this again is a result of COVID, but people have to work. People have to work and they have to take care of themselves. And you know, one thing about trading is it is up to you. It is completely an independent activity. And even though you come and you learn from me, you are doing it yourself. I'm not pressing the button for you. You are pressing the button for you. What we think about today as a secure job may be gone tomorrow. We can be great employees, productive, outgoing, hardworking. It may not even matter to our employer in the end if a company can't keep you on. Again, you've thought of this all this year, seen all the news, what's happened, even if it hasn't happened in your own life. Many people know how this has affected many, many people. If a company has poor management, they might fail. It has nothing at all to do with you. Or if your industry might fail, or something like a virus that it's hit this whole entire country and the world. Even if you're a skilled person with a great mind, you can do something for yourself. You can work for yourself. I was in the city today and I saw something I never saw before. I was in a cab. I was in a cab, I was going by construction sites because construction is going on in New York. That's the one industry that is going on. A lot of these buildings had started construction before COVID and they have to finish the buildings. Um, they got to finish them. So the construction crews are back on. And I saw two women that were selling sandwiches out of coolers on the street. I said to the cab driver, I've never seen that before. <laughs> First of all, it's totally illegal. And second of all, you have the carts, the food carts in New York, but they have to have a license and they're designated in certain corners and those are legal in the city. This was just two women selling uh, sandwiches out of two coolers. And, and they'll probably go to every construction site around the area with sandwiches every day to try to make money. I gotta give them credit for that. Very entrepreneurial, very, very inventive, um, as long as they don't get caught. And so they're probably selling sandwiches for way cheaper than, than the restaurants for the takeout or the carts on the, on the corner. So, you know, you can do things to make money if you use your mind. The one thing about trading is while it is work to learn a system, while it is expensive to open up a trading account, go through that process, pay for a class like mine, you, can, you have the uh, opportunity to make so much money in the market. Uh, the lady that's selling the sandwiches is making money right now, but she can only charge so much for the sandwiches because she's undercutting obviously the restaurants and the, and the carts in the corner. So if you're gonna put the time and effort into doing something, getting up every day and doing it, I've always had the philosophy that you may as well make a lot of money. And not only that, you may as well enjoy it, okay? There is a certain excitement when you make thousands of dollars within minutes and seconds trading. That kind of excitement, you just, I mean, I can't describe it to you unless, until you've done it, you don't know how exciting that is. Or if until you get up in the morning, you're in an options trade, and then it gaps in your direction. That is extremely exciting. And some of those trades I just showed you did that. <clears throat> and you know you're gonna be up a lot of money before the market even opens, because you're in options trades, and they're, they're way past the strike and way in your direction. Anyways, you can work for yourself in the market, and then you create your own job security. And you can create your own opportunity by taking it upon yourself to learn how to trade the market and then make money trading. I think people just don't take trading seriously enough. And then they attempt to do it for years. They think they know what they're doing. They don't know what they're doing because they're not making any money. They could be break even or making a little or losing. If you know what you're doing, if you can really make a living doing this, and that's where I'm at with it. And again, I've been doing this for, I think a long time now, 12 years plus, but you know, there's some people who have been doing it longer than me. <laughs> But for me, I'm definitely of a niche. The way that I read gaps, the way that I read the market, the way that I predicted some of those market trades I showed you here today was just an expert read. Many people were going long the days that we were short in those puts and in those shorts and traders were going long the market, just like traders went long the market today. <coughs> Any questions here so far? Anyways, one quality strategy is all you need to learn to pay yourself on a regular basis in the market Knowing one good strategy can help you. You just replicate it over and over. I'm looking for the for I'm looking for a certain criteria, okay? Then I find it, then I take the trade when it sets up, okay? And then we get the move. Having one powerful strategy that pays you will open up your eyes to the true profit potential of the market. The market can offer you a real lifelong career if you have a strategy that makes money consistently. For me, it is gaps. And I called my strategy golden gaps, as I said earlier. The knowledge and information that I have will never be taken away from me. And what I do works and I can use it forever. And I'll always know it. 
And over time, I have gotten better. Now, what is a golden gap? A golden gap is a gap that moves in the direction of the gap. So therefore, a bullish gap up, I rate the gap to determine if it's a good long. If it is, we go long it, or we buy a call. I rate a bearish gap if it gaps down to determine if it's going to sell off, in which case then we buy a put or we short it, okay? Not all bullish gaps up are longs and all the bearish gap downs are shorts. That's why I have the criteria to rate them. So who makes golden gaps? And this is golden gaps, and that's what I name my, my, my system. This isn't any gap. Institutional money makes and creates these gaps. So there may be many gaps that go in the opposite direction, but they're not made by institutional money. Therefore, I'm not playing them, okay? <laughs> makes sense. In the case of a bullish gap, institutions are buying the stock. Therefore, the stock moves higher in the trading day. In the case of a bearish gap, institutions are selling or shorting the stock. Therefore, the stock moves lower on the trading day. Okay, and that's what I'm looking to do. So it's about, for me, it's probability. I have a 26-point rating system that I use to rate each stock that I want to do in the morning, hours before the market opens. If it rates per my 26-point system, then I take the trade. If it doesn't, I don't do it. Simple, okay? It's about high probability. Is there a high probability the market's going to make brand new all-time highs before the election? No. Low probability, okay? So I look at probabilities because, again, nothing is 100%. So you have to look at it. What is the highest odds, if you put your money on this trade, that you're going to be able to get a return out of it? Anything that can put the odds in your favor to trade will give you an edge. The Golden Gap system gives you an edge because it uses a rating or scoring system to pick the stock to trade. It reads the price of the gap and uses technical analysis on an advanced level and then pinpoints which stock to trade that day and in what direction. So the high probability is in the quality and detail in the rating system. 26 points is an enormous amount of detail, but I can do it very quickly in a few minutes. And even if you're new, you can do it in five to 10 minutes. So it doesn't take that long to figure it out. And I'm up very early doing it. So the Golden Gap system is a 26 point professional gap rating system. The purpose of the system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. And also, like I said this morning, we didn't do anything. So guess what? If I rate 10 things and nothing rates good, well then I'm not trading that day. And you will have days like that in the, in the time where it's not busy. So we're not in busy season yet. Busy season doesn't start for three more weeks, okay? That's when it's gonna pick up. <laughs> That's when we'll have lots and lots and lots of trades every day, options and day trades, okay? Using a 26 point checklist to trade creates high probability of success. And so this is what you would come if you wanted to learn my system, this is my system. It's a 26 point rating system. The class is this weekend, 16 hours. Kathy knows. She's been there before. She probably doesn't remember a thing I say, but <laughs> she's been to every one that I've done. It's all day Saturday, all day Sunday. You learn all the points, and then you can do it yourself. However, I am calling the trades for you, making it easy for you right after the class, and then offer the support system as a mentor. But you will learn it yourself so that you can do it yourself. Yeah, it's great to Kathy. That's true. If you haven't, if you haven't, if you haven't figured it out by now, Kathy, or had an interest in trading, you're probably not going to. Some people love charts. Some people don't. My sister, she's one of these people. She does. She has no interest whatsoever in charts or trading. But some people love it. Now, I love it. I love numbers as well. Now, how do you find gaps? Well, I look at the top twenty list. I get my picks every day to scan for the top twenty ups and downs. In the New York Stock Exchange, here's the gainers, uh, here's the NASDAQ, and here's the New York Stock Exchange, and here's the losers, New York, and then the NASDAQ. So this gives you 40 picks on both sides. That's plenty of things to rate. <laughs> and everyone should have this on your platform actually for free. And if you don't, you can call your broker and find it. Now, I get this question a lot too. How many gaps do you get a day? You get in quarterly earnings season, which again, we're about three weeks away from it, you get about three to five quality gaps a day or more. Um, and then during non-earnings season, you get about three to five a week. Okay, that's probably what we'll have this week. A quality gap is one that rates high enough to trade based on the 26 point rating system. Okay, again, that is my strategy and that's the criteria 
because the criteria really helps in order to figure out what to do. Kathy, I think I lost you. Can you hear me? My, my clicker just, my hot comes just said not responding. Are you guys there? For some reason, my hot comes just completely froze. Get back to the presentation. We'll fix that later. Okie doke, I'm back. All right, let's talk about Amazon. So Amazon had many, many gaps here. Again, fell off a cliff like everything else back in early September. September was a very bearish month for the market. I believe it will end that way. This closed here, this gap down, fell. Closed here, gap down, fell hard on this day here. Fell, 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 okay? We did a bunch of trades in this as well. So Friday, September 11th, we did the Amazon 3,100 puts. Now, Amazon is not cheap, okay? So again, to say a beginner risk in this, one contract is $5,000, but well worth it. I'm gonna show you the move that this had in the day that we did it. It was a 264% return on investment. Why? It gapped into the move from Friday to Monday. It was a beautiful trade. Profit was 26400 And one of the things I like about stocks like Amazon, Google, even Tesla too, these high flyers can have astronomical moves. I mean, I don't know if any of you have ever traded Amazon. This stock can move 100 points in a day, like without even thinking. Now let's go look at what happened with this one here. So this was the 11th. Here's the, here's the 10th, here's the 11th, here is the 14th. No. The 11th, hold on. No, it was here's when we did it. We did it the 11th and then it dropped into this day. I thought it was Monday, sorry, we took it Friday it dropped Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Does everybody see that? Sorry, it's hard to read these dates down here. So we did it on the 11th, then it got down under 3,000 there that day. So that's one of the reasons why that trade was so big because it gapped down and followed through overnight. And like I was saying earlier, when you get up in the morning and you know something's really in the money, so that was well into the money when the morning of that day. And then boom, nice trade. Again, this is an option. I'm not day trading equities in Amazon. So I'm ideally looking for just one turnover, either 100% return on investment for options, but some are more. For that example, Amazon, I was waiting for it to go and it just happened to gap into the move and then it went. Or I'm looking for one turnover. If I risk 2,000, I'm looking to make 2,000 on an equity trade. For every amount you risk per trade, your goal is to make at least that back on each trade, whether it's an options or a day trade, that's your goal. Some is a little bit less, some, some end up being more. And particularly the options trade, just because of the fact that they gap in the direction. If something goes to a larger target, you can make much, much more. How you choose to money manage as part of your overall money management plan as a career trader. We talk about this in the class. Trading is ultimately about making money and booking it on a consistent basis. That is how you will pay yourself. Having solid, profitable trades with good risk to reward on a regular basis will eventually help you take more sides. Why? Because you're going to build your account up, okay? So some trades do end up going a lot more. But again, you have to have a goal. You set your risk based on that goal. And then some will just normally, again, I, I say don't push it. Some will just go huge. That's just what they will do just because they will. And you can't really predict those. Sometimes I can, where I see something's really going to make a move early. But for the most part, they you just follow it through to its natural conclusion. Anyways, you really, really need to have a plan of action to win daily. And that plan of action has to be strategic, just like this uh, picture of this mouse. This is a great picture because he wants the cheese. The cheese is available to him, but if he goes after the cheese, then he could get hit, hit with the mousetrap. So 
he has his plan of action is to still attempt to get the cheese and not get hurt. Therefore, he has the helmet on, okay? And so by learning a strategy and having all your P's and Q's and ducks in a row, say, I'm going to take this trade because it rates 22 per points per the system. I can see everything that Melissa is talking about here. It's set up. Whatever the case may be, where you follow the rules, time of the day, all of the things that I discuss in the class, you're set up, have your risk, and you go after it, put the stop in, and you do it. This is what you would do to prepare yourself for success. And you want to succeed. And you want to succeed, which means what? Which means making money, like getting the cheese, and not losing, like this guy doesn't want to get hurt. Okay? The idea of trading without a strategy or a plan or planning ahead of time means that you will be set up for failure. I spend a lot of time in the morning getting ready, more time than I need to, really. It's my routine. I enjoy doing it. It makes it strengthens my conviction. I get up early, I look at the market, I look at what's happening, I'm ready to go, okay? I would say give yourself one hour, one hour before the open to prep, okay? But what I'm looking for is, and the whole philosophy behind the Golden Gap 26 points is what? To analyze a large time frame to make the trend decision on the directional bias for the gap, all large traders of every kind look at large time frames to make decisions, particularly institutional traders, and to make entry decisions and exit decisions based on a small time frame, like the one minute chart, which has a high degree of focus and accuracy. And then I'm using the daily chart to make decisions for the stock pick, which allows for accuracy in the direction. Okay, using the one minute chart allows for good risk to reward trades with accuracy. So I'm looking on that minutia chart when I'm taking my entries. And I go over that in the class as well. The only difference between a beginner trader, I also say middle of the road intermediate trader, and an advanced trader though is size. A trader cannot risk more money per trade and take size until they know how to accurately trade over a period of months. However, trading with size is the goal. So again, obviously if your goal is to do this for a career, if your goal is to make 20 grand a month, 200 grand plus a year, then you have to set, set it up, have a plan of action like a business plan. How are you going to get there? If you can't start trading that risk right away, then how much money do you have to build your account up then to risk that, to get it? <laughs> One of the traders on the options newsletter that's been trading with me, uh, Julio, he, uh, he had started out with a small account. He's been doing well. All of his profits he's letting in the account. He's trying to get the account up over 25,000 so he can have a margin account. And he's almost there. He's, he's over 20,000 now. He's got like about five grand left to go. So, and he started trading, I wanna say four months ago. Four months ago he started on the letter. So, I mean, I say to people, set your goals realistically and then you will achieve the higher goals that you want you have to be patient with yourself, and also you have to understand it. You have to understand what I'm doing, and that's what you learn in the class. But one play, just like that spy, you know, or even the Amazon, one play can make your whole week. And two or three great plays a month can really make your whole month. And that is sometimes how it is. That is sometimes how it is. I mean, sometimes you can tell in the morning when you get up. It's going to be a great day. 200 shares of a stock, for example, though, just looking at size, is $200 profit if it moves a buck. Okay, so kind of look at it like that. Even though my size, my monetary risk is the same or equal to the same in all my trades, my quantity of the number of shares or contracts differs because the cost is different. The stop is different, okay? You can have a calculator with you. You can figure it on your head. I'm very quick and good with numbers in my head. If you are not, you really have to have a calculator next to you to make sure that you are on point with your sizing. <laughs> and you can always back it off. If you take a trade and realize you risk too much, then back it off. The Golden Gap course, though, teaches a strategy on how to trade gaps. The course teaches a 26-point rating system to find the best stock to trade each day. The course also teaches students how to play the stock on the day. And the course teaches students chart analysis and technical analysis on an advanced level. So what you would learn, if you want to come and learn from me, is the 26-point checklist. This is the meat and potatoes, okay? This is how I'm predicting that... Amazon's lower or Facebook is higher or whatever trades we're doing, okay? You go through the process, you go through the checklist in the morning and you figure it out. Gaps are extremely useful, okay? Why? They tell you a lot about the direction. They show you really what's happening in the stock price action wise. 
Again, this is a niche for me because very few people understand gaps or know how to trade them well. So once you understand these and know how to do them, they can be very useful tools for you to make money. 90% of the gaps I trade have follow through for swing and core trades. Again, this is why doing options is, works well too. Why? Because the Golden Gap 26 point rating system is a very specific and detailed read on the price in a gap. When a stock rates over 20 points per the system, the chart is damaged and selling continues to come into the chart to push the price down for further moves lower. More selling and more, more shorting means more momentum for you to capitalize on the first day and then beyond if you know how to find the spot and rate the gap and then take it. And again, whether you want to short a stock as an equity trade or buy a put depends on the type of account you have or you could do both. You could do both and sometimes I am doing both. Okay, some people are doing one or the other. Some people are doing both. And again, if you have a job <laughs> out in the world, like I told you about Julio, he's a, he's a construction guy. So he actually is taking these trades on his phone in an app. You know, he can't babysit it all day long. It depends what you're doing. If you can be in the room every morning to day trade, or if you don't have that kind of access and you have to trade on a phone or something. Okay. Any questions here so far? How's everyone doing? Glad I got signed back in pretty quickly. Yes, we'll fix that tomorrow, Kathy. Lucas is good, all right. Anyways, you know, I think a lot of people that have been following me for a while, which some of you may be new, some of you may have followed me for a while, they know that I know what I'm doing, but you know, you can learn how to do this even if you never traded before, or even if you don't know what you're doing. Um, I'm teaching regular people. I've taught people how to trade and they're doing well, making money that have never traded before in their life. And, and sometimes I think if you don't know anything, it might be better because you don't have any bad habits. Um, also, some of the people I'm teaching have a lot of money and some of them do not have a lot of money. They've had enough money to pay for my class, which is $7,000, and they've had enough money for an account, even if it's an options account with two grand. The most important thing is learning because if you have limited funds and you only have $2,000 to open up an account, well, you better, you better by golly know what you're doing or you're gonna lose that money. A lot of people have been opening up these Robinhood accounts where they put up hardly anything. And guess what? Many of those traders lose. They have very limited funds. They don't have any money for classes. And then what do you think you're gonna do? You're gonna lose. If your funds are limited, it's even more important for you to learn what to do, okay? But, you know, some of the people also have been in the business for a long time, older than I'm alive, but they don't know what I know. And I have a specific set skill set. That skill set is something that I have fostered and, and, and gotten better at over time and really um, just excelled with. And just it's just a focus for me. And that's one of the benefits and the, I guess, the pluses of coming to me. Whatever your experience level is currently, if you are not having the success you want or not having any success at all with the market, then it's time for you to step back and evaluate what you're doing. Many people I talk to over the years, um, some have still not done my class and are following me, are losing, losing, losing every year, and they're just not getting anywhere. I think 2020 is a great year to evaluate what you're doing, decide if you really want to get serious about trading. You can learn how to do this, and you can make good money. Uh, so I just talked to a gentleman last week. I did a mentoring session with him. I'd never talked to him before. Um, he was on the Gap Options newsletter, and we did a mentoring session, and he's doing very well. Um, just a couple of things we talked about. I you know, helped him, I think, tweak some of the things that he was doing to improve, but he said some wonderful things about me that he is doing well because he met up with me. So, I mean, you really will learn something from me, and I know a lot of places out there say this class is great, this class is that, this class is whatever, and there's a lot of educational places, but I have something different, and the difference is me. Um, I, I'm just very good at what I do. So yes, my class is good. You will learn a lot of information. You will learn what I know. One of the reasons I'm so good is I'm doing the, the information in the class repetitively now for 12 years. So I, I, I've gained that skill. And I also have something else. It's called intuition and it's a sixth sense. And you can't, I can't bottle that up and sell it to you. But you'd have the benefit of getting that um, when I'm calling my trades and getting my trades, which sometimes are very often the opposite of what most places are saying out there. And it's interesting if for those of you that are subscribed to my YouTube, you can go back and listen to my recent uh, clips on Ameritrade where I called the sell-off in the market and it was days the market was rallying. 
and I was the only person that was bearish that we were going to fall, and I was right. In fact, I think I said it the one day I was on with Nicole Petalini's, and I think it fell the next day. I think it literally fell the next day. So, I mean, you know, the benefit of coming to me is, is to be with me because I'm very good at what I do. So, you know, that's sometimes that extra thing that I have, which again, you could say sixth sense intuition. I'm sure if you interviewed many people that have traded with me over the years, they, they, they would, you know, they would describe it in many, many different ways. Um, this amazing gift that I have, but I truly believe that it is a gift. And I believe that that is how I figured out this, this system. You know, sometimes you go down a path and you don't know where you're, where it's going to take you. And then all of a sudden you realize and you say, well, this is the thing that I'm meant to do. This is the thing that I'm meant to do. So how do you take it and make it into something where you're making money? You have to have an interest in it. Like I said, my class costs $7,000. You have to have an interest if you come and you want to pay and pay that kind of money and learn from me. Plus, the class is 16 hours. You really have to have an interest to spend your entire weekend with me learning. But the benefits are huge that you could make good money. And obviously, the, the shortness of time that you spend trading in the week. Any questions here so far from anyone? I know we're going over a little bit, Kathy. I appreciate you letting me finish talking. I'm almost done here. Anyways, a career in trading offers personal freedom and obviously learning the system and doing it. So what do you need to succeed besides my class and the rating system? I call this thing the four seeds. Number one, clarity. You need clarity. What should you be focusing on today? What stock should you be trading? What direction? Know exactly what that is. You also need confidence. Confidence to be able to put your money on the line Knowing that there's a chance you could lose, but also knowing that there's a high degree of probability that you can win. That takes a certain level of confidence. This is something that I'm, I have a lot of as well. And I think trading with me helps people's confidence level. When I say this is really good, or this is going to keep going, or whatever that is. And then conviction. Similar to confidence, but different. This is more something from the heart, where you believe. I call it 100% conviction. 100% conviction. I had 100% conviction. I would figure this out to be successful. I could do it because at the beginning I was losing. I didn't know what I was doing. It took me three years to figure it out. I have conviction in myself. I have conviction in the market. I have conviction in anything I put my mind to do that I want to do. If you're a person that has low self-esteem or low self-confidence, you know you have to you can you have to fix that. You can improve on that. You can read books. You can take classes or hang out with some people that are going to help you. Because one of the reasons I have the trading room blocked off, and if you come to the trial this week, you'll see this, is I think traders tend to just be very negative amongst each other. They never really lift each other up. You need to be around people that support you, that love you, that, that will help your self-confidence, that will help your conviction, that support you doing this, if this is something you want to do, because it's going to take time. It's going to take time to learn it, okay, to go through the process. And also, it takes a certain level of commitment. Again, money time, thought, process, using your brain, studying the charts. So the Golden Gap course is a complete system to use to trade. And the class that I teach, again, is called the Golden Gap course. It's this weekend, October 3rd and 4th. Can't believe it's October. It's crazy. It's October on Thursday when the unemployment claim uh, numbers are coming out. So that's Thursday and Friday. Again, October 3rd and 4th. $69.99 is the cost of the class. Class is online. It could be anywhere in the world and take it. Does anyone have any last minute questions here? I think this was a good lecture tonight. Thank you for letting me go over, Kathy. I, I did tape it, even though we got bumped off. I will edit them together so it's one long clip. So if you're interested in a trial to the training room, email me at melissa at the stockswoosh.com. If you have questions, you can email me. If you're interested in the class, email me as well. If you uh, want to call me, you can call me and ask me questions. I'm a real person. I live in Manhattan. You can call me at 929-3200-GAP and ask me questions as well. Don't call me early in the morning, though, because that's when I'm trading or getting ready to trade. After 11 a.m. is best. I did mention that, Kathy, and I think you're going to send another email out about that as well, I would assume, tomorrow. And please help me fix my hot com in the morning. Let's take a look here at the market before I say goodbye to everybody tonight.